Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music again. Going to break down the Game of Thrones epic theme. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, thanks again for supporting Marty Music. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to put the capo on the third fret, and the chords are nice and easy. Let's get through the progression first. Also, it helps knowing the chords that the melody is coming from. So the very intro is an A minor and then becomes A major before the even main melody starts. So watch. And it's all in counts of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, dun, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. And so the very beginning, A minor, bum, ba, da, 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 A major, da, 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 into the melody. So A minor, A major. Remember, counts of three, here comes the melody. A minor, two, three, da, 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 E minor, da, 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 da. Then we're gonna play a G chord back to A minor. G chord, da, 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 back to da, 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 da. And so measures, are groups of three counts. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. That was four measures of three. So I don't know if it's because they had to fit a certain amount of uh, texts into the opening credits, but this first time it's uh, five measures and then the melody starts again. So here's what I mean. Uh, the very intro, A minor, and A major. Now we go into the melody. Ba, ba, da, da, ba, e minor G chord G G G back A one two three two two three three two three four two three five two three ba 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 da 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 E minor da 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 G G G da da G back one two Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three. So all the others where it holds on, that ding, 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 it's all six measures. But that first one is five measures. So now we play the melody an octave up. E minor. So we go back to G. G. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three. Ba, ba. So six measures of that dun dun da 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 da. And we're gonna do F F. However you can play F F to C D minor A minor F F G a minor two two three three two three four two three five two three six two three F to the C D minor D minor to the A minor F F G one two three two two three three two three four two three So that last time, it's four measures of the strum, but then there's still two more of the. Kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty, the beginning, where it's A minor to A major. And so I'm taking kind of a little piece of that A minor that it's over. So first fret B, second fret G, Open high E is what I pick first, then the G, and then on the B string, one, three. And 
halfway through, just as it strums, when it changes to A minor, I'm gonna just switch. And so what I'm doing, you might wanna switch both fingers to index and middle finger. I'm just grabbing that ring finger on the second fret instead of the first fret. I'm just playing the exact same thing. Some people aren't as dexterous with their pinky, so you could go. And I don't hold the finger down on that third fret B. Okay. Next, now we go into the melody. And so what I'm doing there is I'm, uh, it's all still the chords that are underneath, second fret, e, uh, second fret D string to open A, and then third fret A, open D, second fret. So. Back to open A, oh. And then grabbing that third of the A again, open D. And then I'm using my index finger to grab the second fret of the A. Because I want my other fingers free to be able to go. So check it out. Uh, second fret, open. So we're picking up two different parts and we're jumping right in as fast as we can to the other part. So I grab, that's the last note of the melody and then middle finger immediately is gonna grab second fret of D. So check it out. And that part, you don't, have, you don't need that index there anymore can stay there if you want. But the da, da 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 for this part is even though we're, we're grabbing that first, but the pattern is open two on the G then open B, but that middle finger comes off. Back to the D. So you'd have this. Now open D, and this is part of the G chord. See that? And the idea is playing it in this position means that eventually, maybe, you know, you can have the underlying chords to strum along with it if you're not using a looper. So open D to three on the E. And then I'm going three, two on the A, open D again. So. Then three on the low E, still part of that G. Then we go three, two, O on the A string. Go. So from the top. So this one's weird. For the rest of the song, it does that. But for just this one, it's uh, the third fret on the D, open G, second fret, but then open D. 
for that time it does five rhythms, five measures. Then right back to the melody. Now it's always that for the rest of the song, which is third fret D, open G, second fret, and then I'm rolling over to the second fret of the D. of these and then finally we get to the next section uh, so we're just playing the melody an octave up so open E to second fret G and then one three on the B so da, 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 to the open high E so one three up Da, da, da. Back to that second fret G. And then one, three, oh. And you go one, three, oh, boom. Middle finger is going to grab that second fret of D so we can go. Right? So check it out. B, O, 1, O, open G, 2nd fret G, roll over, so that gets you all the way to that final section, so let's see here, uh, what do we got? Same thing. Open three. Not this one. And there's going to be six. And then we go up the octave. This part's real easy. It's uh, this is where we go to the and always look. You know the melody really has the notes from the underlying chords. So on the F, it's the second fret G to open G, then open A to E. So two O open A to second fret D, and then on the F first fret. Here's some counterpoint. It goes three, two, O oh, on the A string. And then do 
do six more. Second, open, A, D, one, three, two. And then if you play that up an octave, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five, then six, eight, five, five. Like that. And there you have it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, thank you so much for the support, you guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.